Hey, and welcome back to another Turtle Talk episode. Uh, today's review is sponsored by Diamond Select Toys, and they gave us a set of their TMNT D-Forms. Now, I believe this was a SDCC exclusive. There is also a blind box TMNT D-Form series as well. Uh, if you're not familiar with the D-Forms, it's tiny bodies with large heads, and we did a review of the Cobra Kai D-Forms uh, the whole wave. So if you want to check that out, see one of our previous videos. But today we'll be checking out these guys. As you can see, there's nothing really extraordinary about the box. We do have that great logo on the front with the, uh, the manhole cover, but that's really it. It just rotates around. There's nothing on the back, and we get back to the front, and that's it. Each one is individually labeled. This is out of 1,500, and this is number one out of 1,500. Just weird how that worked out, but this is the uh, one in the set. So uh, why don't we crack into this thing and check it out? All right, we're just popping open the box here, and we have each character will come out on an individual card back. So we'll check each of these guys out on their own. And this is just a four box set. Like I said, uh, there is a larger um, collection of them if you want to do the whole deforms, but these are going to be based on the cartoon look. So we'll check out each one of these card backs individually. Uh, you can see here with Michelangelo, all that's gonna be really different from card back to card back is that their name is gonna be on here. And you have this cartoon sort of sewer layer backdrop. Uh, same here with Leonardo. Again, with that backdrop and the name tag changes color. So his is gonna be blue. And then we get over to Raph and Raph's name tag is gonna be red. And then we get over to Donnie and Donnie's name tag is gonna be purple. So we have each one of these individually with their fun little card back, and then of course the uh, cartoon version on the back. So why don't we hop in and check out each one individually? Okay, I figured I'd do this up close so we could get a good look at these things as I open them. Again, I'm going to be using that technique where I use an X-Acto Nike and open it up um, right along the edge here so as I don't ruin the card back. I kind of like these. They have a fun little cartoon. Um, card back to them and I kind of keep them like little display cards or collector cards of the characters. Plus it has that cartoon aesthetic to it and I kind of enjoy that about these. Um, like I said, the other standard release I think is based on Mirage Comics and they all have the uh, red headbands only. So these are the same exact characters. They're just going to have a paint scheme um, that's more signature of their cartoon look. So we have Michelangelo here. And Michelangelo is on this base with a manhole cover with some brick here. So he's out on a, on a street. And, uh, you know, the head isn't as large or as pronounced as the other characters. So he's not as deformed. It almost looks scale. <laughs> I mean, he does have a larger head. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty good detail on here. You can see the shell. You can see that front shell here, two different colors, obviously. Uh, the nunchaku has tight paint applications with a chain going across it. And then he has uh, nice tight paint applications on all his wristbands, his arm pads, his or elbow pads, and knee pads, um, and including his headband. And he has those nice, tough looking white eyes <laughs> and this, uh, this signature kind of fun smirk on there. So that is basically, um, that is basically it uh, for Michelangelo. So not bad. I do enjoy the base. He's got the manhole cover. And I think each character comes with a different base, and we'll check that out in a minute. Uh, so Leonardo over here. Looks like he has a different base as well. And again, going with that knife technique, um, if you get an easier way of doing this, I know some people like somehow sweat it off with like steam or they use uh, some kind of alcohol or something to get the stick off completely, but not that patient. <laughs> so Leonardo here has one of his katana drawn out and the other one in the sheath, but noticeably you only see one holster here for a katana, not two, uh, like he had in the cartoon. Um, but he does have a different uh, bandolier across his chest here than Michelangelo does. And you notice his base is a bunch of bricks with what looks like a curb going through it. So a um, little bit different than Michelangelo, but still the same style bricks. So you know they're kind of near each other. Um, so you can kind of build out this little display base with all these different characters. Uh, that's kind of fun. Um, but similar to Michelangelo, he's got all those nice type paint applications. Um, and then he has, of course, the the handle or the hilt here is different than the, the blade. So um, they didn't waste any time with uh, different paint applications. Kept that consistent through this. Uh, you're getting your money's worth here. Uh, and he's got the nice belt going all the way around. You can see a different color in the shell between the shells here. I'm not, uh, I'm not a biologist. So I don't know what that's called on turtles. Uh, but this this softer part of the shell in between the, the two halves here. So uh, pretty nice. And I look at that sort of cowl he has there. 
that steer the grimace it's very similar to the uh playmates figures it reminds me of his look on that too and then he has his outstretched hand here so that's our leader uh take up donnie next um donnie one of my favorite characters to use in the video games because of the reach with that bow i remember turtles one um, it was really easy to defeat some of the bosses if you were to hide up on crates or something like that. Um, I think that was Rocksteady was the one where you could do that, and it just made it really easy to beat him. Um, so he was always my default character. Anybody with reach was always good in those kinds of games. So uh, he has that long bow here with the nice wrapping on a, uh, the handguard there, so you can hear that, see that as well. So he also has the brick on his base, and this is more of a pronounced curve where you can see a sidewalk over here. So maybe this wasn't a curve, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's just some kind of stone ridge in between the two. Um, but this looks definitively more like a curb because it's coming to the end and then you can see a sidewalk. So then you have Donnie, very similar to his brothers here. Of course, what you notice uh, immediately about all three of these guys is the different turtle colors, which was consistent with the, with the uh, cartoon as well. So Michelangelo is more of a, oh, I'm not really sure what this, this color is, like a, uh, a brighter dark green. Uh, this is more of like an olive drab and then this is an even darker so, I mean, it always went like this, and then Raphael being at the end with the colors. But, um, yeah, they did keep that. That's a good attention to detail. They have the different color turtles here as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, very similar in design features to Leo all the way around. He has the same turtle shell, the same um, front shell. Um, he doesn't have any scratches or anything on the shells. I don't notice that kind of level of detail there, but... Paint applications are tight all the way around. Again, the Grimace here, I think, is very reminiscent of the Playmates figure. Uh, so they kind of get, that's a nice sort of throwback to the original Turtle release. Um, but yeah, very nice all around. And I do love the base, how it just kind of expands on the scene. And they're all throughout the street here um, in different poses, fighting a battle. So kind of a nice attention. There is no holster for Donnie's bow in the back. Um, so that, that's sort of missing here. Um, but other than that, uh, I think they captured most of the details. And again, these are going to be, I think, just recolorings of the other ones that are available. So not a drastic uh, design change from uh, the original D-Form release to these SDCC exclusive ones. Uh, but I do appreciate the color scheme. So if your uh, Turtles to you were, was growing up in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, then those are the Turtles you, you know more <laughs> probably than uh, the comic Turtles. And so... This paint scheme is just more nostalgic for me than, than the other ones. And last but not least, we have the tough guy in the group, Raphael here, looking a lot lighter than his brothers, and he should. He's usually even lighter than this, as I recall the, the um, uh, original figure. But uh, he's got both his side here. He's got a nice clutch on this one here uh, as well. And uh, he has a completely different piece of street here with a middle sort of... Uh, stone running through it as well to separate lanes not sure how this would all split up but um you know just adds more to the street scene uh that we see here he has a smirk on it i think he had a tough guy smirk on the original figure as well so that's sort of keeping with that style um but he has this nice pose where he's drawing back and looking ahead at his um his enemy and uh, always looking tough and angry, so they kind of captured that with Raphael as well. So he's really going beyond the uh, the base here. You can see his toe sticking off the end, so he's sort of popping out a little bit more. Uh, I think he does that more so than the others, where Leo's kind of like right at the edge. Um, Donnie, maybe his bow, no, eh, maybe his bow goes a little bit over, but Raphael's sort of just sticking his feet over here and his sigh out the back. Um, but yeah, this is your, your scene here, a bunch of turtles. Uh, not a bad set. Uh, this is a great way, Vice the Blind Box, of getting all four of them and knowing you're going to get all four of them and get them in this color scheme. It'd be nice if we got a second bl uh, box like this, another exclusive with uh, the bad guys and their classic um, uh, cartoon colors as well. If we got Shredder. I think the only other two characters they did in the line were Shredder and the Splinter. So that could be a nice, fun two-pack maybe for cartoon colors, Shredder and Splinter. Be an interesting two-pack as well. Uh, so yeah, this is the line here, as you can see, very nicely detailed, even for this little size. They don't take up a whole lot of space. You can fit all four of these guys here in like the size of one hand, so not bad at all. Uh, easy way for you to display your turtle fandom without taking up too much room. And they have this nice little street scene you're building out. Um, if you're a 
some kind of um, diorama builder. Maybe you could copy these patterns and fill these guys into a larger street scene. Um, so pretty nice. So that about covers us for this exclusive set. Like I said, this was a previous exclusive. I believe it was also at Comic-Con this year. Retails for about $40. It's already sold out at a couple of sites. Uh, I believe it's still in stock for pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store, and I think it's still available at Diamond Select Toys. If it is, I'll put up a link and you guys can grab it. Recommend you do that sooner than later. It's either coming out this month or next month. Uh, if you want to get your hands on it, this is your chance. With the standard line of deforms, like I said, they're all based on, I believe, the Mirage Comics look. Uh, they're blind box, so you don't know what you're going to get. You're not guaranteed to get the full set unless you buy the whole box. Uh, I think there's some variants in there as well, so it's kind of hard to get exactly the character you want or a complete set without getting duplicates. Uh, this set retails, like I said, for 40 and you get all these blister cards along with it as well. So each one's going to be individually card instead of in a blind box uh, for this fun little cartoon look. And this cartoon look is exclusive to this set. So it's a limited set. Uh, grab one if you want it. Don't want to miss out on this opportunity. That's all for this time. We're going to have, of course, more Turtle Talk in the coming weeks. We're going to have as well some more Diamond Select Toys products and some other surprises. We'll be doing some Transformers reviews now, too. We haven't done a lot of those in the past, so we're going to be covering that as well. Uh, so you'll see more Bobby since he's our Transformers expert. Uh, we only got uh, three weeks until Toy Fair, so look forward to that. We'll bring you some exclusive Toy Fair coverage. Uh, not everyone goes to Toy Fair, so we'll be bringing you uh, all the different vendors that will be there as well. So if you love NECA, Super 7, uh, Diamond Select, and uh, Three Zero, and many, many more, including Playmates, we'll be sitting down with them and their little special party they have, and hopefully get a check at the fall lineup that's coming up as well for more Turtles. So tune back for that. Like, subscribe, and follow for when those videos come up as well. And we'll see you guys next time.